Uh, you know, the Canucks are a team in transition and trying to get to where the LA Kings have been for the last mm -hmm. bunch of years. Uh, you know, how sizable is the gap still? I know that there's excitement about some of the young players that the Canucks are bringing along here. We've talked about them. But then you see them match up and, you know, they're standing there and trade punches with the Kings for a period, a period and a half. Uh, but one or two mistakes that you reference and no. all of a sudden, you know, it looks like a blowout. You know, how, how wide is the gap still between the two organizations? Well, it's wide in the sense that you can't teach size. It's a hard yeah. commodity. And, I, and you have to understand that the Kings... You know, when you're amassing troops along the border with the Anaheim Ducks and, and San Jose Sharks, it's like a different level. I think I referenced, you know, punching up a weight class and, and trying to, to match wits and, and brawn with him. I thought Jared McCann, uh, for being treated like a piñata in that game, showed a lot of moxie to me. I mean, when McNabb, how the McNabb hit wasn't reviewed by the league, targeting the head. The initial McCann, one on Henrik, you mean? Yeah. Or this one? This is the one on, on Jared McCann. Oh, the other one. I thought, okay, yeah. we're going way back to the first game. Yeah, when... and, you know... To be able to, to fight through that stuff and then get rocked on the sideboards by another elbow by Lewis, I think McCann, I talked to him after the game, and he was kind of hard on himself because, you know, he says, I'm never going to go down easily. I'm going to fight through that stuff. But you, the question is, how do they match up against the LA Kings? Well, they don't match up size-wise. Uh, I think they're getting there skill-wise. But the problem is when you play a team that's already trying to hold its game for the postseason, if that game was totally evident of what the Kings can do. They play a simple north-south game. You know, all the Lucic stuff is, is predicated on the fact that, you know, is he going to remain there? Yeah, he's going to remain there because the first thing Daryl Sutter referenced when I talked to him about Milan Lucic was the playoffs. And he's built for that, and, and, and they'll make things happen to, to get him back there.